In this video, let's talk about local maxima and local minima or relative maxima and relative minima. So, we have one, two and three curves or graphs in front of us and we have some theory written over here. Let's see what it has to say. It says local maxima and local minima. Let f be a real valued function and let c be the interior point. So, I have c as one point which is there in the function itself. In the domain of f, then two points are given. C is a point of local maxima if what happens. So, the maxima we have studied. Now, it is the turn of local maxima. So, C would be local maxima if there is an H. If there is an H such that f of c is greater than or equal to f of x. It is similar to f of a greater than or equal to f of x that we started in the case of maxima. That means if we have a function and in that function we have a domain restricted wherein we have a point c. So c would be the local maxima if this definition follows. That means the value at c is greater than or equal to anything else. And we are talking about a restricted domain c minus h to c plus h. c minus h to c plus h where h is greater than 0. So let's talk about this graph later and let's talk about this graph now. Now you have, this is the curve given to you and you can see that the curve is such that when you move from the 0, that means towards the positive direction of the x axis, you start moving, you start moving and you find a point here and you see that if you draw a tangent, it will be going upwards. That means the graph is increasing over here. So if it is c minus h case, and this is c plus h case, you see the graph increases, then a point comes when it is the peak of the graph, wherein the graph attains the maximum value, so it is the maxima, and then again it goes down, and here if I have to draw a tangent, I can find it goes down, so it is decreasing. So it increases, then it attains a peak value, then it decreases. Since it attains a peak value, after that it changes its direction. The graph turns, so these peak value points are called as turning points also. T-U-R-N-I-N-G, turning points, right? And you can see definitely if I have C minus H to C plus H restricted, then this point wherein my F dash C becomes zero because the slope becomes such that the tangent is parallel to the x-axis, will give me the maxima and since the domain is restricted this time so it is not only maxima but a special type of maxima called as local maxima that's it that's so simple to it only difference with maxima is that the domain is restricted so it is a relative maxima or a local maxima when c is a point of local minima that we have to study with the definition it says if there is h greater than 0 such that f of c less than equal to f of x. That means when c is having the value such that it will give me the least value, right? So least value would be given. So the graph would be something like this. First the graph would decrease. Then you have such that it becomes such that my tangent would be there which would be parallel to the x-axis. The curve is such that first the graph is decreasing then it is getting to a turning point and then again it is increasing. So decrease to increase, decrease to increase gives me minima which is evident from this curve and increase to decrease, increase to decrease gives me maxima, right? This thing we have done. Now in this graph again if I look, if this is the point C, then I say that my C is giving me local minima because in this domain C minus H to C plus H, I find that my C would be there wherein F of C is less than equal to F of X for all C minus H to C plus H. So this is local minima example. Now if you have any random graph, say this is the graph which is randomly given to you and there are many turning points in this graph, let's name it P, Q, R, S. Let four points be only there. Now you see that P is downwards, then the graph turns and then Q is there which is upwards and then again the graph turns, R is downwards, again the graph turns, S is upwards. So that means earlier it was what? If I have to point here, it will be decreasing, then a turning point, then increasing. So decreasing to increasing is minima. 
Hence, P is a point of local minima. Then again, you move. So, it is increasing. Then it is a turning point and then it is again decreasing. So, increasing to decreasing for Q. Increasing to decreasing is maxima. So, Q is a point of local maxima. So, it is local maxima. And wherein this is local minima. Now, you get it how to solve it. How to understand with the help of graph. Again, this is decreasing. R comes and then the graph again increases. So, decreasing to increasing. Decreasing to increasing is minima. So, it is local minima or relative minima. Then again, increasing, giving me a point called as S. Then again, decreasing. So, increasing to decreasing is maxima. So, it is local maxima. So, this increasing to decreasing, decreasing to increasing concept is very much related to the next topic, which is called as the first derivative test. Please watch this video very much carefully again and again, so as to understand the next topic better.